हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज ऐश्वर्या एंड यू आर वाचिंग यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ लॉ माइंड्स आज का हमारा टॉपिक है कन्फेशन अंडर द इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज कन्फेशन इन इंडियन लीगल सिस्टम अ कन्फेशन इज बिलीव टू बी अ क्रिमिनल एविडेंस दैट इज यूज टू इस्टैब्लिश अ गिल्ट इन अ क्रिमिनल केस फॉर कन्फेशन टू बी कंसिडर्ड वैलिड इट मस्ट नॉट बी मेड अंडर ड्यूरेस क्वेश्चन और अंड्यू इन्फ्लुएंस लेटस सी मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ कन्फेशन द वर्ड कन्फेशन अपेयर्स फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम इन सेक्शन ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ द इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द जस्टिस स्टीफन कन्फेशन इज एन एडमिशन मेड एट एनी टाइम बाय अ पर्सन चार्ज विथ अ क्राइम स्टेटिंग और सजेस्टिंग द इन्फ्लुएंस दैट ही कमिटेड दैट क्राइम forms of confession confession can be divided into the following forms first is judicial confession confession made in front of court or magistrate is known as judicial confession this confession must be intentional and according to article 23 of constitution the subject must be given protection for it to be invalid again extra judicial confession confession that are made outside of the court or in front of judge are known as extra judicial confession it is also known as an official confession third retracted confession any voluntary retracted or revoked confession is known as retracted confession in this confession the court will decide whether or not to believe such confession to be credible it changes depending on the circumstances and particulars of each situation let us see when is confession not relevant the indian evidence act specifically address the question of whether a confession can be irrelevant um, according to section 24 of the indian evidence act a confession shall be irrelevant in a criminal proceeding if the confession has been obtained by any inducement threat or promise such inducement threat or promise was given by a person in authority such inducement threat or promise was about the charge against the accused person such inducement threat or promise must be in the opinion of the court be sufficient to give the accused person ground for supposing that by making it he would gain any advantages or avoid any evil or temporal nature about the proceedings against him according to section 25 of the indian evidence act no confession made to the police officer shall be proved against the person who made it the purpose behind this restriction is to protect the accused person from the third degree treatment to ensure a proper and fair investigation to bring actual culprit to the bar according to section 26 of the indian evidence act a confession by the accused while in police custody cannot be proved against him exception to section 26 of the evidence act if such confession while in the custody of police was made in the immediate presence of a magistrate it shall be proved as against such person section 27 of the indian evidence act is considered an exception to section 25 and 26 as it enables the certain statements made in police custody to be proved conditions of section 27 there must be discovery of fact in consequences of information received from person accused of any offence the accused must be in the custody of police officer such information should relate distinctly to the fact discovered section 29 of evidence act if such confession is otherwise relevant it does not become irrelevant merely because it was made under a promise of secrecy because it was made under in consequences of deception or when he was drunk or because it was made in answer to questions when which he needed not to have answered or because he was not warned that he was not bound to make such confession or it could be used against him 
Section 30 of the Indian Evidence Act deals with the consideration of proved confession by court, which is made by person affecting the person making it and others being tried jointly for the same offence. Elements of Section 30 are when more than one person is tried jointly, the trial is for the same offence, a confession is made by one of such person affecting him and others, such confession is proved. The court may consider such confession as against such other person as well as against the person who makes such confession. Confessions are always not always admitted in court. The circumstances surrounding the confession are carefully considered by the court to ascertain the validity and voluntariness of the confession. Since they are seen as untrustworthy and possibly unfair, Confession made under duress or inducement are normally not admissible as evidence. Thank you for watching this video.